Hi, welcome to Appliance Fault. In this video, I'll be showing you how to replace the leaking sump on the Bosch dishwasher. Usually, what happens with these dishwashers, this seal here will fail and water will start to leak from the sump under the dishwasher into the base of it. And it activates the flood switch, and the error E15 usually comes up on the screen. Now, let's get started. Start by removing all the basket from the dishwasher. Remove the lower spray arm, filter. Sponge up any water that's left in the base of the sump. Once that's done, remove the two T20 Torx screws. With a flathead screwdriver, press on this tab to release the spray arm from the dishwasher. Down at the bottom here in the middle. Now you can pull up on this spray arm and this can be removed. Next up I'm going to remove this lid. It has two tabs just under the lid here. You need to press on them and pull up on the lid and then slide it back and that comes off. Undo the two Torx screws here. Some machines have also two screws here and sometimes on the back here as well. Next, remove the six screws holding the front panel. Remove this kick panel to unclip it, grab it from the bottom here and pull down and forward. That comes off like so. Now this front panel can be removed, grab it at the bottom and pull it sideways and forward. That should disconnect and come off. Next up I'll be removing these side panels. There's a tab here you need to grab one and pull up. That releases here and also here at the back. Once it's off, pull that should come off. Do the same on the other side. Remove the insulation. Next up, remove this panel here. It's secured by two screws, one here and one here. Sometimes these panels are clipped in quite hard and it's hard to do it with your hands, so use like a little hook pick, slide it under, pop it off like so, and that should come off. And this is the cause of the error 15 and the leak on this dishwasher. It was caused by this leak here from the sump. And you can see this is the flood sensor. That activates the error 15 once some water goes into this base this float floats up and pushes on a switch which is just here now many videos tell you that you can tilt the dishwasher back off to the side to drain any water that's in here now I highly don't recommend you do this and on this side here you have a control module down here you have a heat pump here you can see it's all sitting quite low and if you have to tilt the dishwasher anywhere uh, this will cause the water level to rise up and will submerge this wash pump or this control panel here or you can see here at the back this is a connector for the water inlet solenoid 
and this is an open contact it's not sealed so if any water splashes onto there this will short out the control module so if you do have an error 15 on your dishwasher don't tip your dishwasher turn your sides take off the panels get a paper towel soak up all this water that's in the base obviously unplug the dishwasher before you do that and uh, find the source of your leak fix it next up you want to remove the springs that hold the door in place most dishwashers will have like a little clip here that holds it so what I usually use is like just pliers you grab that clip and you pull it out and the spring comes off and then you can release this hook but unfortunately this spring itself hooks into the dishwasher itself and what I do is I grab this cord here, grab it firmly, pull it forward, release this, and gently let it go back. And you can disconnect this up here. Next up, what you want to do is straighten this tab in here through this little hole here. This holds the base of the dishwasher to the frame of the machine. I usually use long nose pliers, I stick it in this hole and I straighten the tab just so it's not hooking onto the base. Do this for the other side of the dishwasher as well. Now remove the two screws that hold the sump in place. Now the dishwasher is ready to be flipped upside down on its top but before you do this make sure that all the water in the base has been dried off because if you don't dry it off and you've got to tip it over you can wet the control board, heat pump, drain pump and once you're finished the repair if you go to plug the dishwasher back in it will blow the main control board so just make sure you dry off any water that's in the base before tilting or flipping the dishwasher in any way Next up, once you've got the dishwasher upside down, you want to release the flat switch. The wiring on it is short and it will not let the base come off far enough. Disconnect the main control board from the base of the dishwasher. Just stick a screwdriver in here or a pick and just gently push those tabs in and the control module. Ah, don't forget to take the plug out from the module and that should come down like so. Next up you want to pull up on this tab and gently push the base up just a little bit so this tab gets over the notch like so and lift it up here just on the back a little bit as well not too far up here you will want to do the same press on this tab a little bit push it up disconnect these two hoses from the base and gently push the base up a little bit once you pushed it up a little bit you, you will want to push there's a little tab here it's part of your salt container now make sure you don't push up on the base because this is clipped in and this will crack the salt container and your dishwasher will leak so what you want to do is uh, grab a flathead screwdriver and just gently push on the tab just far enough so it releases from from the base don't push it too far in because again it will snap and the salt container here will leak once that's off and this is off you can push on these hoses here just get them off gently and you can pull up on the base so if this is a freestanding dishwasher it will have a counterweight at the back here just take this out
Now, once the base is taken off, you have access to everything that you need to reach in here. And um, should have done this earlier, but you can just remove this drainage channel. Next up, you want to disconnect all the electrical connectors from all the components. Disconnect the drain hose, just hold the sump in place, firmly grab the hose, twist it a little bit, and that should come off. Get that out the way. Move all the wiring out the way. sump's ready to come off. That's the sump there and again you can see all that dirt stuff has been making it past the seal and this is why the machine has been leaking and coming up with an error 15 on the display. Next up you want to strip everything from the sump. That's your drain pump there. It comes off quite easy. Press on this little tab here and twist the pump. That comes off. I'm to take off this sensor here. There's also a clip here you have to push up on just gently so you don't snap it. That also turns anti clockwise. This comes off. Just make sure you clean this seal before you put it back on. Disconnect the wash pump from the sump using a flathead screwdriver. You want to open up this clamp and remove it. Just be careful, don't damage this rubber hose because this will be getting reused. Just simply stick your screwdriver in there and twist it. Just pry this open like so, so it's nice and loose. Now the heat pump can come off. Sometimes they get stuck on here, so what you want to do is grab a flathead screwdriver and gently push on it, stick it in there, and just carefully pry it off. Most of the time they come off quite easy. Once it moves a little bit, it should come off gently. Next up, the diverter valves and the motor will need to be removed. There is a little tab here that needs to be released. Same thing, the flathead screwdriver, push up on it. Push up on this tab. And twist it at the same time, like so. Don't forget about the seal, give the seal a good wash as well. When washing this, this seal, make sure you don't pull it sideways when you're washing, just simply rub it like this when you're washing it, just with two fingers. Don't pull on the seal because it will stretch and it will be too big to go back on and you'll need a new seal. So just be careful with that. Also clean, pull off this disc, it just comes off. Clean this surface inside here before refitting it back on. 
before you throw away your old sump make sure you remove this plastic tab here because this does not come with the new sump this is a very important part your drain pump will not function without this and you will want to remove this part here as well this is for the wash pump it just stops any large items from entering your wash pump you can throw your sump away once you've taken everything off it okay next part is the reassembly let's do the easy things first put the drain pump clip in first that should clip in nice and firmly next put push the wash pump clip in that should clip in like so next this little sensor should go in next it does have two sides to it there's a little notch here and here one of them is bigger and one is smaller so when putting it in make sure to take note of this sometimes it can be a bit hard to put back in so what i use is a little bit of rinse aid for the dishwasher what you do is just put it onto the seal just so it goes in slightly easier and doesn't damage the seal pushes in quite easy turns make sure this is all nicely clipped in next up in the diverter motor same thing i'll put a little bit of rinse aid on this because it can be a little bit hard to put back on without this put a little bit on the seal put the seal back on the, on the sump and let's put the diverter motor back on you should just push on just align it properly and push on if the ring side it should come on quite easy make sure all these tabs are pushed in and once they're pushed in just rotate clockwise and that should clip in this little tab here should be clipped in it's very important next up is the wash pump the new sump comes with a new clamp so you can chuck the old one away okay next up you want to put this clamp in place you want to put it in such a way that it's accessible from the front of the machine when it's all put back together next put the wash pump in put this rubber onto the sump so this will hold the wash pump in place sorry I've got a broken finger I can't put this on that easy this is pushed nicely and tighten this clamp okay that looks nice and tight next I'll be reinstalling the drain pump same thing I'll put a little bit of Inside on the pump housing because these seals are quite grippy and this will just make it easier to go back on push that on and twist it on make sure both of these tabs are caught on properly 
be careful of this surface here it's very sharp next up you will want to clean this surface here that's where the new sump comes in contact with the frame of the dishwasher to make sure it's nice and clean use like a soft cloth make sure you don't scratch any of the surface because it will not seal properly if it gets scratched too hard next i'll be putting the sump back into its place but before i do that again i'll put a little bit of ring side onto the seal so it goes on a little bit easier make sure these stems here align with these holes push put that on push it on gently next up i will reconnect all the connectors Now these two look similar, but they all have little tabs here, and they're in different positions. So these, you cannot put them in the wrong place. Just make sure you don't force it in to break these little tabs and you'll be okay. Just put them on gently and they should fit on like so. Before reconnecting the drain hose back into its place, just give it a good clean. Just doing a wet rag, make sure this seal is nice and clean. And stick the drain hose back into its place, like so. Next, slide the counterweight back into its place. module back in next you will want to put this foam back into its place put that in hold it just clip the switch back in and that should hold the foam in its place that's in Next, you want to align the base with this prong here, the tab here, to align this tab here, the tab here as well. You want to pull this hose out a little bit, just gently push on the base. Sometimes you will have to adjust this counterweight because it gets caught in the base. Just gently push it down. Don't put too much weight on the base. And carefully push down. Just move this hose out a little bit. Just clip it back into its place. Again, be careful with this, with this tab here. Make sure this is nicely positioned. Again, you don't want to snap this or damage this tab in any way because the salt container here will start to leak. So make sure this is nicely placed before you push down any further. Push it down. 
push on this side push a little bit on this side just do it evenly and gently and again push a little bit on more on this side push down here next you want to get this hose clipped back into its place you just put my pinky finger in there and clip it into place next on both the sides of the dishwasher you want to push this tab back in on both sides make sure this tab here is clipped in on both sides and this tab is in its correct place as well before flipping the dishwasher what i usually do is i prop up the door with something or get somebody to hold it this lets me it is spray on next up you want to put these screws back in but make sure you do it by hand because if you do it with a power tool the screw goes in really fast it gets hot the plastic becomes soft and you will thread the new sump and it will not hold in place i usually do the two front screws first make sure it's straight the two back ones the reason I do these is because there's still water left inside the dishwasher that you can never get rid of and um, if a sump is not on properly and you flip the dishwasher up back upright all that water leaks into the base again and you have to dry it and you know make sure all the electronics are dry but this way nothing gets wet and you'll have less chances of having any problems. Okay, it's nice and tight. Flip the dishwasher on its back first. Okay, see all that water in the sun? This is what I was talking about why I use a screw when sumping first before flipping the dishwasher because all that water can make it between the body and the sump and go back under the dishwasher and wet everything and wet all the electronics underneath. Make sure this pipe is clipped in the top and in the middle. Just recheck these screws, make sure they're nice and tight, but don't overdo them. Next, you want to refit the spray arm, refit the filter, put all the basket back in place. Before you reassemble the dishwasher, have a look under, make sure there's no water in the base here, make sure there's nothing that's wet inside it here, um, and before you put all the covers back on, plug the dishwasher in, run it without this plate in place, and look for leaks, make sure it's not leaking before you reinstall all the panels. Uh, what I forgot to mention is when you're putting the base on make sure this drain hose also aligns with these tabs here and uh, That's pretty much it. Just test the dishwasher put the panels back on and you should be all good to go
this is what I meant about the wash pump clamp. It should be facing towards the front of the dishwasher so that you can re-tighten it if it's not tight enough and leaking. Thanks for watching guys and this is how you replace the sump on a Bosch dishwasher.